Hi everyone. Me again, waffling on. Talking rubbish, <laughs> as usual. Um, I guess I want to talk about something that's been sort of on my mind the last few days. More so, I think, than any other time. Um, and it's about acceptance. And I suppose I've not really accepted my life as it is now. Um, it's it's been difficult, and as everybody does, you get good days and you get bad days. And I think I've been burying my head in the sand, probably about a lot of things. Maybe trying to convince myself that things aren't as, not so much bad, because they could be a lot worse, but just, I just, I've realised, I think, that my life as it was a couple of years ago it's not going to come back I suppose I was thinking to myself every time I had a good day or a pain free day that maybe the doctors were wrong and I'm going to be okay and I can get my life back on track and I'll think that one day and then the next day or the day after that, wham, you know, I'm drained again, I'm in a lot of pain, I feel generally rubbish and ill, can't do what I want to do, and it, it's been a circle or a cycle more to the point of one, you know, I thought maybe one time I won't get that crash, I won't get that hit in the wall and not being able to not do stuff the next day. And it's, it's been tough. It really has. And I think I'm going to have to accept it. Things will not be the same. I've had to change a lot about my life. I've had to put up with the snide comments and things like that. And it's difficult. I never had a lot of self confidence before I got ill. I never have done. <laughs> I suppose it, it it just killed any that I did have. Things will happen that will make me feel good, make me feel better, and then something else will happen that will just bring me crashing back down again. <laughs> I suppose I just. I do, there are people that accept me for the way I am and I'm glad but I wish my life was different <laughs> people will I'll hear comments being said and things like that and then it makes me realise yeah my life is different from everyone else's you know but it doesn't mean that I can't be happy I 
suppose the biggest the biggest thing recently well last year was obviously the ending of my marriage which is not something I've ever spoken about anywhere and it's it's been difficult it's been tough I've kept I've kept it to myself <laughs> as I don't think it's fair to <laughs> burden anyone with it but I suppose I've kind of realized now that am I ever gonna I ever gonna find somebody that's gonna love me with me being the way I am and that's a really tough thing to accept and I can understand why people would run a mile because it's not fair asking anybody to I suppose take on someone like me and maybe that's another thing I'm gonna have to accept you know I mean yeah I've you know I've got quite a few friends but you know online that I talk to and things like that I just don't know if I don't know I'm waffling <laughs> uh, I suppose it goes down to that being a burden I've never wanted to be a burden on anybody ever ever in my life It's a tough thing to accept. You know, there's somebody that I really, really care about, but it's not fair being a burden on him. And that's what I am. That's what I would always be. And you know, sometimes, it doesn't matter how much you care about somebody or how much you like them or anything like that. Sometimes that's just not enough. So I've got an awful lot to accept. You know, I've got an image in my head of how I want my life to be, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. And that's really, really difficult. I just want my life back. I just want to be accepted for what I am, for who I am. <laughs> Not, I don't want to be judged on how I look. <laughs> because I know there's days when I look fucking horrible. <laughs> Sorry for the language. just don't know. I think this year is going to be about acceptance. It's going to be tough. <laughs>